Hi, my name's Lee from CFM and I've been left alone. Jess is on holidays and I've been given permission to come and check out St Brennan Shore College before they open the doors for their upcoming open days. Come and have a look. Good morning, Lee. Welcome to St Brennan Shore College. Let's go for a walk through our school and uh, we'll see what uh, people who take up the opportunity for an open day will see if they uh, have a look around our college. Okay, this is our Year 7 Centre, Westcourt. This is where all of our Year 7 students will do their core subjects and they have just two core teachers for that. So the bulk of their time, they're with the same groups of students and essentially the same teachers. It's a nice, a safe place for them to be. They all have their own locker. One of the key focuses when we designed this place is we wanted to have a uh, pedagogy or teaching opportunities that allowed for group work, uh, allowed for collaboration, but more than anything we wanted a nice smooth transition from primary school into secondary school. Oh, this is our Founders Theatre Lee. This is where we uh, do our speech and drama and uh, a very, very good performing arts faculty. This year we're putting on Oliver. Every two years we put on a musical production, so Oliver is well into rehearsals and the college band will be in, in holidays uh, rehearsing as well. Looking forward to that. This is our Nazareth Centre. This houses our gymnasium, our PE staff and fitness room and it incorporates the Northwest Hairdressing Trade Training Centre where students can do up to Certificate 3 in hairdressing. The Nazareth Centre is also where we hold our school assemblies and formal functions, things like our Year 12 graduation, our duck ceremony where we acknowledge those who achieve so well academically, the facility is also used by the local community. Devon Netball are high users of our resource and uh, anyone who wants to use the Nazareth Centre, uh, we try and make it available so we value add to the community. This is our science area, Lee. And uh, apart from uh, science, as I said, all of the core subjects for Year 7 are done in Westcourt, but all of our Year 7s do science in one of the five laboratories and the space in between is our breakout area and we're just getting it uh, ready at the moment but our year 12s and 11s, some of them like to work in here and it's a great thing for our younger students to see the older students studying. It's a really good role model for them. Okay Lee, this is our uh, year 11 and 12 study area and all of our seniors actually have their study in this spot um, and their classes in here. Uh, one of the things that I think we really do well for our students is because we're a 7 to 12 school, we really are able to support them well and they still get an em enormous range of subjects to do in year 11 and 12. Part of our support is we have an excellent uh, counselling and advocacy service here at the college and in particular our two social workers in Donna and Linda are fabulous. Uh, they work with the students, they work with staff, they work with our parents and they work with other agencies and to have that level of support uh, is something that you just cannot underestimate. And while Frank wasn't looking, I discovered the Genesis Centre, which is the centre for the creative arts. It's where they hold school socials, dance students practice in here, and it also hosts special visitors, like enlightened education for the Year 9 girls with the butterfly effect each year, and the good fellows who come in to show males how to be good men. This is our ovals. We've got the, in the distance the football field, uh, then the soccer field, and uh, this is a lovely place for students to sit and relax at their uh, lunch times or kick a football around. It's a, it's a great activity space. Playground's popular with the students and uh, we've just finished our athletics carnival so the oval's looking magnificent. Rocky, our groundsman, has the gardens in excellent condition. Everyone always comments on how well maintained they are and uh, we're very proud of them. 
Does St Brennanshaw College look like somewhere your child can grow and prosper? Then contact the college regarding their open days today.